Hello students, so today we will see Armstrong number and how to create a Python program to find any number is Armstrong or not. So let us see first what is Armstrong number. So let us take an example of a number. Let us take in a number 153. So any given number if I divide these numbers into their digits and if I if I put the power of the total number of the total digits in the number so there are three digits so I will put power three to all and then I will uh, sum it so let us see what will be the output this will be one is 125 this is 27 so 125 plus 28 13 5 1 so the output is 153 so final output is 153 our number was 153 so this was this is a Armstrong number 153 this is the simple uh, uh, simplest Thing. This is a, sim a very simple thing to calculate the, arms calculate the Armstrong number. Now let us take a number with four digits 9474. Four. Okay. So there are four digits. So we will put the power of four. Now, if you calculate it, if you calculate this, this will also be as 9474. That means 9474 is also a Armstrong number. So, to find a, uh, num a given number is Armstrong or not, what you have to do in programming, first you have to see how many numbers are there in this, uh, uh, how many digits are there in this number. Let us take an example of 153 only. So there are three digits. Now the second thing, we have to take each and every digits out from this number third thing we have to make a power and we have to add these all the numbers so there are many ways of doing it let us see and prepare one algorithm for that so if a number is 153 so how can I extract so first thing how to find the number of digits so in Python there is a function len to give the length of a string but this is a number so again if I convert this number into a string and then if I find the length this will give me the length of the number now this first thing is done now second thing if I take it as L now the second thing how to find each and every digit so there uh, there is one simple way of doing that we can find each and every digits first we find the ones then tens then hundreds digit so if i if i take this number as n and and if i divide it by modulus 10 
then what will be the output it will give me three so if I store it into some variable last digit so it will be three and if I do it n is equal to n floor divided by 10 then n will become 153 divided by 10 it is 15.3 since it is a floor division so it will become 15 output will be 15 again if I take last digit and modulus 15 and modulus 10 so it will again give me now it will give me 5 and again if I do n is equal to n modulus 10 so it will become 1.5 that means 1 again if I do l modulus uh, n modulus 10 so it will give me 1 okay if I again do n is equal to it will become 0 so we have to do this process till our n becomes 0 since if you are you can look it look these steps then you will find these two steps are repeating so if the steps are repeating we can put this thing in a loop and how many times this loop should run three times because it is coming three times so if you can see there are these digits three digits So it is repeating three times if there would be four digits then we have to we have to repeat it four times so we will run our loop for i in range L times this so this is this is our loop and we will put this thing n modulus 10 and again n is equal to n divided by 10 this will run three times and we can do our sum sum plus our last digit power of number of digits so this will give us the sum of all the digits with the power of number of digits so at the end we can check if our previous number 153 is equal to the sum of all the numbers then we will print Armstrong else not uh, Armstrong number okay so this is our simple Python program now let us do this program in our python practically now hope you can see the screen now let us make this program this is my ideally window so we will make this program so how to make this program if you can see first we have to find the length second we have to make a loop 
so if i first find the length let us take the number because the question was to prepare a function so whatever we will do we will do it in a function uh, let us start with number n is equal to int input Terra number length is equal to length of str of n. So this will give me the length, and I have to run a loop for i in range of l. Okay, so this will run the loop if the number is 153, it will run the loop three times. Now the next thing that i have to do last digit is equal to n percentage 10 then i will make the number 10 find find okay again i have to make the sum sum is equal to sum plus the number last digit the power of number of digits fine at the end we will check if the old number see the old number was n but every time we are changing n so we will take final number equal to n so that we will store it into a variable because every time we are changing this number so for if it is 153 it will become 15 then 1 then 0 so the value of n will change so we will we are taking it into of f underscore n so that it cannot change and then we will match with s if it is matching then print arm strong number else print not a strong number fine okay now if you will run this let us see what happened. It is asking a number 153. If I give 153, it is saying that name S is not defined. Where is S? This is S. We have to make S 0. Again, it is asking, I will give 153. Not Armstrong number, it is 15. If I run it again, I give 153. Then it is Armstrong number. Let us check for four digit number 9474. So it is Armstrong number. If I give 9473 is not a Armstrong number. Since I told you to make a function, so what you need to do, you need to just put all the things inside a function. Find Armstrong. Okay. And at the end, you have to call this function. Fine. So this is your Armstrong number program. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can ask.